<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to the Drop 20 Challenge that you're going to be doing with this at Squad Fitness. Thank you for trusting us with your body. I'm super excited and so is Coley. This is my daughter right here. She is beautiful. But I did want to go over the nutrition aspect of the program and some of the rules. Since you are at the stage of life where you have 20 or more pounds to lose, uh, I'm assuming you can read, right? So I'm not going to go over everything, but I'm going to hit some of the major points. Monday, when you show up to the workout, a screen like this is going to be up. You're going to click on this box right over here. Start typing in your name. First or last does not matter. It'll pull up either one. Whichever is the most distinctive will make that happen faster. You click on that, hit this big red box, and that's going to show you that you are logged into the class. This is one way we're going to keep up with your attendance. Um, you do need to have a profile picture loaded up. That's going to be in your pre-challenge checklist. If you're going on that checklist, that's one of the things. You have to do that on a computer or you have to download the Wattify app. Let us know if you have problems with that and you don't understand it. But once you do get your uh, login access info, you're going to click on that My Profile and then you can change the picture or upload a picture there if you didn't already have one. Um, so guys, going back to the Drop 20 Challenge, several different rules we're going to go over. Uh, rule number one is FTDI. You got to follow the instructions, right? You did, number two, you got to change your profile picture to this image right here. Um, you can take a picture of that, crop that out, make it real, look real nice. If you want the digital copy online, just uh, get in touch with one of the coaches and we can send you that image. You can just plug that in, make it easier for yourself. You don't have to mess around with uh, editing anything. Uh, you got to do at least 24 workouts. I recommend that you do like four a week. If it were me starting off, I would do like Monday, Tuesday, take a break Wednesday, and then, you know, maybe Thursday and Saturday. Um, I mean, that's up to you. You don't have to do it exactly like that, but just notice how I took those two breaks in there so I can recover and I'm not just killing myself. But I like two back to back that first week because that kind of helps you get over the soreness a little bit better just hitting that next workout. Um, guys, do not be late to the workout. Uh, we're not going to embarrass you or we're not going to say you can't work out with us because you didn't show up on time or anything like that. We're going to get you in the workouts because we don't want to discourage you from getting results, but we want to discourage you from being late. So you will not be able to apply that towards your attendance. So if you come to a workout and you're late, you can still work out with us, but it will not check on your attendance. We will take you out of that uh, water fire system so that doesn't count. Uh, when you do your workouts at some point through, throughout that day, squad, fitness, uh, official Facebook page. So that's going to be the Drop 20 Gardendale or the Drop 20 Homewood. All right, sorry, that'd be Birmingham. Whatever location you're at, you need to be checking in there. And uh, there is a Q&A. If you're not familiar with that, you can flip to page 11. Q&A showing you exactly what that should look like and how to do that. Um, you do need to be tagging your coaches. It also tells you that in that Q&A. And so you definitely want to go ahead and friend them because once you friend them, then you can tag them in your post. Have fun with those posts. Really just want you to, uh, you know, promote our program, make it fun. Your friends are going to be seeing this. It's kind of annoying if you just put workout one, workout two, people get tired of seeing your stuff. So your friends are going to be seeing it, be cool about it, post some pictures and just have fun. Most important. Um, guys, don't ask us to make exceptions. Everything, everybody's going to have something come up in the challenge. So we can't make exceptions to be fair to everyone. All the rules are, uh, are in place for a reason. Um, you know, guys, we just want you to have a positive attitude. We're going to be doing everything in our power to help you lose the weight, you know, but like we, like we said earlier, there's other types of progress throughout the challenge. We think weight loss is going to like this, but as a matter of fact, we've seen over and over again, people that get great success, the road to the progress is never a straight line. So your weight loss is going to fluctuate a little bit. So don't get just crazy about that. Don't get stressed out. No drama kings or queens. Um, Guys, we do have a water available for you in the fridge. It's kind of the honor system. There's a box there. Put change or cash, whatever you got, uh, when you do need uh, waters. They're available. That stuff helps us with all of our cleaning supplies, by the way. Um, so if you need water, get one out of there. That helps us out with toilet paper, soap, all other stuff that we need to, uh, to run the gym. Most locations do have a chef that prepares food. So, you know, talk to the coaches if you have questions about that. But basically, you order it. And then the very next week, they have it there available for you at a certain time. They usually have a couple options. You'll pick which ones you want. And then uh, we'll charge your account on Saturday. The very next week, they'll have that available here for you. Um, I'm, I guess I need to pep up my talk. My daughter's getting super bored. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see here. I'm just smelling. But bear with me, guys. I, I, there's a lot of info to cover, but I'm trying to get this as quick as possible. So this is your piece to success, guys. You gotta prep it. If you don't prep it, you know, if you don't use the chef, you don't have to use that, but somebody's gotta prep it. So that's your spouse, that's you. you gotta get your meals prepped. I'd recommend picking two days out. Kind of weird. You can do it one day for the whole week, but you kind of get, um, you know, burnout on chicken that's been in your refrigerator for like three or four days. I'm kind of weird about that. So Sundays and Wednesdays, I usually prep my food. I go on the grill, grill out that, uh, get some vegetables ready, get ready stuff for the week, get stuff ready for the week. Plan it. Most of you guys are going to be doing a lot of different habits all at once. So you need to set some alarms to make sure that you are, you know, doing what you need to be doing when you need to be doing it. Because if you just go to work uh, and just start your normal routine, you're going to forget that you got to drink your water, that you have to eat, you know, every so often. And want to make sure that you get the, the best foot forward. So plan everything out, especially that first week. All right, water intake. Super important that your water intake is in between the meals, right? 20 minutes before, 20 minutes after. Don't drink a lot of water during your meals. You can do just enough, like four ounces, just to kind of keep some, you know, keep your mouth where it's not getting dry. But don't get your water intake. It, uh, it helps with your satiety level getting in between meals. Uh, it, it messes up your, your digestive system a little bit, drinking a ton of water or flooding your body with fluid as you are trying to digest and process food. Um, so you guys push it, the workouts, you know, we want you to work hard, but that first week on a scale of one to 10, take it to a six, because if you do too much too soon, you know, you're going to need a wheelchair to get around. All right. You just do what you can get better. Every time you come, that's the mentality of what I want you doing. So if there's like a 30 pushups on the board, don't feel like you have to do all of them the first day, do what you can do and then get better, baby. Make sure that you are getting your, your, your sleep and your rest. Super important for that. All right, guys, here we go. FTDI food plan, these are the food items that you can eat from the plan. Um, guess what? If it ain't on here, you can't eat it. You guys, this diet is built for effectiveness, right? It's not written to be healthy. Yes, there are other healthy options that aren't on here that, uh, you know, that would be beneficial for you, but not while you're doing the challenge. Because imagine, like for instance, fruit's good for you, but too much can, can really affect your weight loss. So if I said, hey, everybody eat four strawberries on Tuesday, how many guys are actually going to eat four strawberries on Tuesday? You, you may eat 18 strawberries, but you're probably not eating four. And so we just totally eliminated out of the program, so there's no way that you're going to be able to mess this up. Same thing with nuts, dairy, those things can negatively affect our, our weight loss during the six weeks. We're trying to lose as much as possible, so that is what this program is written for. It is written for effectiveness. So don't try and recreate the wheel. Just do what we tell you to do. Yes, it may get bland, but there's some condiments you can use and some ways you can spice that up as well. All right, so you got a protein list, carbohydrate list, vegetable. I'd recommend going through here, circling the food items that you like to eat. Proportion sizes are listed above. You don't have to weigh this out. You can if you want to, but you know, an ounce of chicken ain't going to make you lose, you know, not lose the 20 pounds or not, right? So uh, women's four ounces, that's the size of the deck of cars, men, deck and a half. Uh, closed fist for the carbohydrate options and then vegetables are unlimited. So you can have, you get hungry, eat more vegetables, right? You can have as many vegetables as you want. So basically guys, what you were going to do is you're going to write down the time that you wake up in the morning. So if you normally wake up, you, you kind of peel around, read, go to the, uh, go to work and then you eat breakfast. That's not a good idea. I want you, as soon as you wake up, that is your breakfast time. Two and a half to three hours later, that's your snack. Then two and a half, three hours later, and you just fill this up. So even if you work like a night shift or something weird, whatever time you wake up, that's when you got to eat, right? And then every two and a half, three hours later. Now, if you do have a you know, situation where there's a job that you have where it's, it's hard to eat, you can't get away with your nurse, definitely want to have some protein shakes as a supplement for a meal, you know, if that is needed. I'd rather you do it just like this, but you know, there are some situations where you know, you got to make, make do and do what you can um, when you are living a busy lifestyle. Pay attention to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's a protein, a vegetable, and a carbohydrate option. Please do not skip the carbohydrate. A lot of people say, hey, I've done a low-carb diet before. It's worked for me, so I'm going to just take these carbs out. That affects our ability to manipulate your diet later in the program and uh, can affect your energy level in a negative way when you're starting this intense workout program. So make sure those are in. doesn't have to be these exactly. You just take, so hey, say you hate fish, you're not going to do that. You take... Uh, another protein from this list, put that over here, and then bam, you're done. All right, guys, you'll notice in the snack times, it is uh, a scoop of a protein powder that we have for you. 
Uh, so you don't have to do the protein, but it's just going to make your life easier during the challenge. You're going to get tired of just eating like chicken and vegetables all the time. So, um, you know, those are going to help satisfy a sweet tooth. We have some phenomenal flavors like chocolate, uh, you know, strawberry. We usually have some kind of vanilla peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter. Check with the trainers on which, which uh, flavors that we have available. But we, um, you know, we have those available just to make your life easier during the challenge. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So if you are a vegan, there is, don't freak out. I uh, should have said this earlier since, you know, we're looking at all that other stuff. If you are a vegan, this is another meal plan separate for you that you can do um, as a vegan. But your, your you know, food items you're going to eat are still on this page. Uh, but here's just a sample day for you on how to plug those in. Uh, all right, so condiments and drinks that you can have. These are ways you can kind of spice up your food a little bit. Yes, there's no alcohol. You're like, I got to do this sober. Yes, you do. Uh, I'm not going to say that if you had a drink, it's going to not make you lose 20 pounds, but it will negatively affect your results. And because we're trying to get the maximum results possible, we strongly discourage you just omit it all together during the six-week program. And guys, I talked to you about protein shakes earlier. We have supplements here available for you. And the reason why we have them is that we used to send people to GNC. They'd always come back with the wrong thing. They'd have stuff that may, you know, maybe more for like a bodybuilder where they're trying to gain weight um, and, and just come back. You know, they just had the wrong thing. They just wasted a bunch of our time. So we have handpicked, select these items. We have vendors that, that know the supplement companies, know what they're putting in the products and that they are legit. So we've handpicked these for you for the challenge program. If you got some stuff you bought, you know, at the grocery store three, four months ago, you know, don't use that right now. Use this so you don't mess anything up by taking something that, that may have a product or, or something in there that it may negatively affect your results. Uh, but you may not need everything on here. I'm just going to run down uh, some of the, uh, the reasons why you may want these and why they would benefit you and you decide for yourself. Uh, the, the protein, the, again, you don't have to have these, but they will make your life a lot easier than the challenge. Most people that do the challenge and do it well really lose a lot, a lot of weight. They're usually using these as a convenience to help them get in their nutrition throughout the day. Um, so uh, protein, we talked about that. It's going to help you satisfy a sweet tooth. It's going to get you in between the next meals in a very convenient way so you're not having to eat, you know, you're going to get tired of, of eating the protein all the time. Uh, but it does help you with losing the weight and looking phenomenal. So muscle fiber is something that's for your digestive system and it also helps you with soreness from the workout. So it helps you get lactic acid out of your muscles. So if you're really worried about getting sore uh, and you, you need help digestively, you know, everybody needs help with that. Your digestive system is like a lint trap in your dryer. If you don't clean it out, it doesn't work as good. So you gotta have good soluble fiber going in. And that's what's in that product right there. EFAs are essential fatty acids. So these help with inflammation of your body, which is gonna uh, get you to build up over time, especially when you're starting a workout program. Also helps with your metabolism health. So these can help your joints and they can help out your metabolism in an indirect way because you need essential fatty acids. In other words, your body's not making them and you're not getting them from nuts and you know avocados, things you may normally have in a healthy diet. So this is where you get them. If you do are eating a lot of fish, you don't like have to have this one if you're eating fish every other day, but. Most of you guys probably don't eat that much fish, so uh, highly recommend it if you don't do that. Vitamins, so there's a lot of citrus uh, vegetables and, uh, or sorry, citrus fruits that you're not getting into the program. Your body needs those to function properly, and especially at, we want your body to be like a V10 engine when you are doing a challenge. So that is going to help you out, get you there. Something about vitamins and these supplements, um, is it shows you when you need to be taking the supplements on your strategy sample guide. But vitamins, you'll notice, are listed at night before you go to bed. That is when we want you taking the vitamins. Uh, so those are kind of essential package. Almost everybody needs those. The extras down here, you have a fat burner. This is gonna suppress your appetite a little bit, increase your energy, and get your metabolism going. So, you know, if you had metabolism issues before, or maybe you are very hungry all the time, those may be, that may be reasons why you might wanna get that product amino em uh pm or sorry amino energy is a pre-workout drink so if you're kind of dragging the afternoon you need to kind of pep up something to get you going that's what you would do or if you're a big coffee drinker and you, you struggle drinking coffee without a bunch of creamer because you notice there's no dairy on the program you know you can definitely get that amino energy to kind of supplement with your coffee and i'm going back to this right here where it talks about that so you can have that stuff but only if it has 
these condiments and these sweeteners that we have available. You can't you obviously pour up a bunch of sugar and caramel and whipped cream on your on your coffees while you're doing the challenge. It's a big no-no. Primo joint spray, if you have joint